All right, as I finish that other video uh, from yesterday, I wanted to right away jump into another video. Although Claude is uh, what seemingly a great workflow process uh, in combination with Neuron Writer, super, super cool, has its advantages. It writes right off the bat with no uh, retries. You don't have to push the continue button or anything like that. And it went ahead and wrote a 2000 word article for us. But I wanna do put this through ChatGPT4 uh, test right now. So we're gonna go ahead. I've already saved that Claude um, article right over here in a Google Doc, right? So I don't lose it because I think that that one is going to, I mean, I'm just going to make an estimation that that one's going to be the easiest to create, um, but we'll see. Maybe ChatGPT4 will impress me and we will get a better content and a better score. If you remember, uh, I'm going to say, remember I went to 55 when it dropped last video? I'm going to say it was a 56. So we have a 56. Let's come over here and I'm just going to say, Claude AI equals a 56 before um, the FAQ optimization. And then it got a, what did it get? It, it ended up with a 72. Okay. So then now we're going to test uh, chat GPT four. I'm going to, I'm not going to, I don't mess around with uh, chat GPT three. When you have access to four, you're just going to use it. And it's already proven that it's way, way better. Once it got over the hump and it, it's not so slow. And I remember for like um, the first couple months that GPT four was out, it was just super slow to the point where I didn't even enjoy using it. But now it's not, it's not that slow anymore. And it sure is way smarter and more robust. So it definitely would make sense to use the four right there. And um, I don't even care, even if uh, Claude is using 3.5, it's impressive what they were able to do. But I just know that um, using ChatGPT on a daily basis, um, I don't really use um, three at all. I only use four. So let's go and start this little test. I think you guys would probably be interested in what we're going to be able to get from this. Okay, so I'm going to go and we're going to leave the title the same right here. This actually should not even have a dash in it because it's not going to have a dash later on. So clean up business. It doesn't change anything. It does. Whoa. Okay. So clean up business. We'll go with a 74 right there. So that's actually 74. Um, it ended up with a 74. Okay. Cause that is, and I need to make sure I make that change over here just in case. Um, cause that is, well, I don't want the dash. I want it to be exactly the way that I found it in the keyword tool, right? In the keyword research tool, that's exactly what people are typing in. They're not putting it. People don't put dashes in a pr for a proper, um, uh, grammar, right? So let's go back over. And Neuron Writer, we're going to go and delete all this. And I hope you guys understand what I'm doing. I'm testing Claude.ai um, and I'm testing it against ChatGPT4 for the exact same keyword and test and prompt. We're going to use the exact prompt right over here. I'm going to come down here and see it's all reset. It's reset now, right? I'm going to push save. And all we have is our meta over here. And then we have our content right here and that's it. Um, I don't know. It's already starting off at a 25, but we're going to come all the way to the bottom. We're going to do exactly what we did in the last video. I'm going to copy the prompt and then I'm going to come over to chat GPT. I'm going to select GPT four right here. I don't need plugins or anything. We're just going to use the raw, um, the way that it comes and we're going to push enter. And I haven't even done this test before. I don't know what it's going to do because um, what the heck is going on? Okay, there we go. There we go. We had a little bit of a delay. That was super weird. Um, but I don't know. I, I'm, I'm going to estimate that we will have to do something as far as like pushing the continue button. Uh, but we'll see uh, on this. So how to start a hoarding cleanup business, everything you need to know about biohazard. So we would never put that as a title. That is just massive, way too big of a title. Um, I would, I wouldn't use that, but the world of hoarding cleanups is as challenging as it is rewarding. This blog post will delve into the nuances of starting a hoarding cleanup business, covering everything from understanding the plate. So, uh, as far as the content itself, um, I'd have to, you guys have to be the judge. Um, are you interested in starting a hoard up business with a question and so forth? Um, there's something about Claude as far as the way that it writes, uh, the content for us, um, I think that it's a little bit more energetic and personable and asking questions and things like that. So I think that uh, if I just had to the tone of the writing and so forth in Claude, I'm a little bit more impressed with, but uh, chat GPT four obviously is, is, is awesome. Um, understanding hoarding cleanup. So I don't really know if it just jumped right into this. I don't know where the outline is. 
understanding hoarding cleanup, setting the scene. Uh, maybe that's just like table of contents, I guess, understanding um, right there. Okay, yeah, so this is basically a table of contents. We probably would leave that out because we could just install an outline or install a, a plugin and that looks like the intro. Okay, so we are down here and let's see key takeaways. Um, is it done? So marketing and SEO for your cleanup business. We'll come back up here. Marketing and SEO for your cleanup business. Okay, so there you have it, guys. Um, it did not, it is not going to write anywhere near what we need. Right click and um, word counter plus. It wrote an 838 word um, blog post, which is actually still pretty decent um, as far as like it's, it, I always find that it's hard to, uh, to pump out anything 800 words or more. The fact that it did not do what we told it to do, right? We are, we're looking at two softwares head to head and ChatGPT4 um, with all of the bells and whistles and all the things that it's uh, capable of doing, it did not. Like I could go and install a plugin, an SEO plugin, and we might be able to get somewhere with this where we can get a little bit better output. I'm not gonna do that though because it's not really a fair comparison. We're using ChatGPT4, that's already $20 a month uh, plan. And we put the same prompt that was designed for ChatGPT4 or ChatGPT, and it still did not deliver not even half of the content that we asked it to, right? So um, at the end of the day, as far as content length, uh, Claude.ai wins by a landslide um, because ChatGPT didn't even do a thousand words, right? Um, as far as the content, um, to be completely honest with you, I mean, it, it wasted a bunch of words right here on the, on the outline. Um, this could have been a key points section. The key points section happened automatically in Claude. If I come over to Claude real quick, come over there, uh, in Claude, it, I didn't even tell it. Remember when I was having that thought, hey, I want, I really feel inclined to put uh, add key points. That's so cool. I love that. And, and I just think it looks nice in um, article posts for SEO. Um, I didn't even ask for that. And Claude gave us a key takeaways. Um, so uh, at the end of the day, it, okay, so let's go and just grade the content real quick. So I'm going to go and we're going to take our chat GPT over here. We're going to go and grab um, everything right here that it gave us. And we're going to copy this. We're going to come into Neuron Writer and we're going to paste that in right there and see what kind of score we get right here. So we get a 73 score. So it literally it just plugged in like crazy. Um, I am very impressed with the score that ChatGBT. So um, if we we're going to compare. Uh, I'm going to come up with a kind of a, a conclusion because this is a really short article. So key takeaways. Let me see over here. Did I? Oh, okay. I'm sorry, guys. I apologize. Um, the key takeaways section, it did come up with a key takeaways section um, right there as well. Um, I'm going to come back up here and see if it actually says that. Close the article with bullet points summary of most important things to remember. Okay. So it's actually in the uh, prompt. Uh, you know, I'm just being an idiot right now. Um, I am actually surprised and impressed that, I mean, I'm not impressed that ChatGBT does really good with plugging in the keywords that you are telling it to use, um, but it's not good at writing a lot of content. So I would almost go to say that we would want to maybe split this one up, somehow split the prompt up um, in order to have it write only half like right over here, only write half of the article and then let me know when you're done writing half of the article, right? So maybe we can try that in a second just for fun. But we ended up with a 73 right over here, okay? This is getting interesting. Um, I'm gonna go over here and I'm just gonna go to the AI writing section over here, advanced, FAQ, and then I'm going to just write for me wasting my AI credits in here, but uh, do wanted to want to get a proper test out there for you guys. And it'll end up over here when it's done writing. Okay. So we have our questions in right there and then watch this 73 is going to bump up uh, to an 80. Okay. So it just bumped, bumped up to an 80 right there and we have the 1373 word blog post. Okay. So you guys be the judge on who, which article you would go with um, right here training and licensing. It's just really, it, it's like it, uh, what are, what are my thoughts on this? So it's kind of like, um, 
and then this outline. This outline really shouldn't be here because it's not really going to be there. So I want to um, kind of feel like I need to remove that. And the score is probably going to go drop a little bit. No, the score did not drop. Okay. So it's not really, it wasn't really doing much. So we have our 1,294 word article. It would meet the standards of what we know, but we know we're going against the 4,000 word article as well. This is pretty impressive to get an 80 that quickly. Um, but when I'm looking through here, this is very, very brief content. So we're, it's like, the, how do I explain this? This is kind of like we are literally put it, throwing in all the H2s that we would need to, throwing in all the terms and doing it in the short amount of the, the, the smallest amount of content or post that we would want, that we would use, right? Um, and remember, this was only 800 words of content. And then we added in the FAQ that added in another four or 500 words right here with all these FAQs right here. So um, I, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to post the Claude article on this one, but then we have some other keywords over here that I'm gonna go ahead and do another one for one of these. They have the same, uh, like right over here, it's a difficulty of five, a difficulty of five, both search volume, same, everything. So I might do this one, um, I might find another one, um, how to start a story with someone waking up. I don't know, I'll find one. And we'll go ahead and use ChatGPT instead and see you know, if it makes a difference. And finally, you guys be the judge, which one do you think, uh, obviously, the ChatGPT one achieved a higher score with less content and much faster. Uh, ChatGPT did win when it comes to that. If I come up over here, ChatGPT4, when we did not, I, for, I forgot to take down what the score was without the questions in here. So I need to go and do that real quick. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that. The score is going to go, was a 73 and then it changes to an 80. Okay. So here's our final test results. Uh, it was a 73 and then it was an 80. So those are your results. Um, you know, right here, mind you, Claude, that was, this was looking at almost 2000 words of content. And after we optimized it, we got a 74. The chat GPT four, um, you know, if you're, if we're going to go just based on the facts of and sheer only looking at SEO ability, SE, optimized SEO, then the obvious choice would be that chat GPT, chat GPT four wins hands down in both those tests. But um, for length of content, I would probably give it to um, Claude because they um, were able to do exactly what we said. We said we wanted a 2000 word article and it provided the 2000 word article. Just know you'll have to spend a little bit more time optimizing your article, but you will have a more filled out article, if you will. Um, so I would say that uh, in conclusion, use uh, Claude AI, um, if you need um, probably 1800 words or more, and then I would use um, chat GPT for, um, for smaller articles under 1800 words because you're going to get a higher uh, SEO score. It's utilizing the NLP words. It, it has a better capability. Um, how would you guys conclude this test? Which one is the superior tool? Um, I think uh, I, I'm just, I'm impressed with the way that Claude writes. If you compare the two, I think that it, um, Cla Claude seems to do a better job with laying out the content with bullet points. It automatically bolds, uh, bullet points as well. Um, I think it did a better job at uh, just conducting an article overall, a much nicer article and also article length. And also the way that it writes is a little bit more, seems more human. Uh, if we test both, um, I guess that's the last test we could do. Um, I think that this one will win. Um, if we grab this content here, and again, remember this is 2000 words, it's not 1800 or it's not 800 words. We copy this and we go just for fun to originality. Um, remember, I don't care um, what this score is, but this is just to just a test to see um, between the two tools. And we come over here because I know some of you do, you know, like this stuff. You like the um, to see if it's going uh, what the AI detection is. And looks like they did just come out with their brand new model. So um, you know, whoop you do. Let's see if it's any good or not. Um, 
I don't really care too much to read too much about it, but 41% um, originality score there. So Claude gets a 41% score. Um, and then let's take that uh, chat GPT uh, right over here, the chat GPT content. Um, yeah, because we actually are taking this directly from uh, without the Neuron Writer uh, add-ins, right? I'm going to go to start new scan, the dashboard, start new scan, throw that in and scan now. Um, I'll leave a link to this as well. Some people are interested in this and I have heard rumors of people, I mean, I'm in a lot of Facebook groups and so forth and some people have had uh, not been approved for AdSense based on their AI content website. Some people have not been um, have feel like they've been penalized because their content is AI. Uh, I'm definitely not taking a stance on that, but just um, maybe this is something that in the future uh, will be something that is is important. But nonetheless, uh, ChatGPT scores a zero. And this is just head to head what the two tools are showing. So this one gets a 0% originality score for ChatGPT. So, um, you know, I, I really, this, I can't, it's, this is too close to call because like I said, I like the way Claude AI writes better and I also like the length of it better, but it just did not have, it didn't have the SEO um, features right here, right? So what do you guys think? What's more important? Do you like the way that the, the content came out here and we're getting more of an originality score right here and so forth? Or do you, uh, but we don't get as much content. Do you like the way chat GPT? Do you just think that it wins in every category and that this part doesn't matter? The originality score doesn't matter at all. Um, leave a comment below. Which one do you think wins between Claude for this exact type of article answering a question? Um, I'm going to do a test. I'm going to put both of these um, and put them up and then I'll do another follow-up video here in a few weeks to see which one ranks higher. And there'll be an exact uh, difficulty keyword with the same searches and everything. So we'll try to get the test, um, you know, the control part of the test as close and um, accurate and fair as possible on these two tools. But leave a comment below which one you like better out of these tools and which one after seeing both these videos, which one you think wins out of these two tools. All right, I'll see you in the next video.